Hello fellow Switch Bargain Hunters, I hope you're doing well, it's James and Mary here. Now our friends over at Cubic Games are celebrating their 18th anniversary with a massive sale, so of course we had to get involved. I've picked 18 games from their massive lineup with whopping discounts, so how does it work? Well, there's a ton of games on sale for £1.50 in the UK, €1.80 in the EU or $1.99 in the US, which is up to 91% off. If you are in the US and own Pocket Mini Golf, Mana Spark, Robonauts, Wreck It or Puzzle Book, then it's even cheaper at $1.80. There's also a chance to win a golden ticket, and the ticket will guarantee each of the six winners a free digital code to all upcoming games released by Cubic Games, Untold Tales and Naptime Games until the end of 2023, so be sure to take part for a chance to win. There's a link in the description to find out more. Let us jump in and take a look at these deals. I'm kicking things off with Real Boxing 2. Now this has made its way onto Nintendo Switch with all of its glory and there is a lot to like here. Starting out with your handmade rookie, you need to hit the gym and figure out your own style, progressing your character and making them tougher as you move through the campaign, taking out lots of enemies, including some tough ass bosses. There's lots of personalization to be had as well and there is multiplayer where you can figure out who has the toughest chops and take down your friends with a bone crunching knockout. Up next it's Planet Quiz which is a charming way to expand your knowledge about earth animals and culture and a guaranteed fun time for you and your friends. This game has four different modes, campaign, quick play, tournament and quizpedia and there's single or multiplayer options with up to four players with lots of different difficulties as well and loads of different subjects covered across 17 categories from cities and countries to bodies of water, people, animals, architecture and more. This is a really nice family friendly game that you can enjoy with your children and learn a little bit as you go along. Pudding Monsters started life out on mobile and it has now been brought to the Nintendo Switch. This is a puzzle game that you play with a touchscreen, which makes sense seeing as it started out as a mobile game. And if it looks familiar, that's because the original developer of this one was the same guys that brought us Cut the Rope. There are over 125 levels and more are being added, we are assured. It looks really nice, it's easy to play, it's enjoyable and it's quite frustrating. Everything you want in a puzzle game. Om Nom Run is an arcade action game with a tight and simple premise. Run, bypass obstacles along the way and reach the finish line. It's a kind of fiendishly simple yet devilish gameplay that is great when you challenge your friends and up to eight of you can enjoy this one together locally. There's a very solid campaign as well with three different modes and over 120 levels to enjoy. Lots of customization options with 20 different characters to play as, making this colorful blast excellent bang for your buck. The premise of Tools Up is simple enough. You are a crew of renovators up against the clock to get the job done by painting, stripping wallpaper and various other handy jobs. The challenge comes in working together to do things efficiently by spreading the workload and of course avoiding the lava, snow and other elemental challenges. This is most certainly a couch cart game. If you like Overcooked then this will be both familiar and a game that you will enjoy. Next up, it's Door Kickers. This is a real-time strategy game that puts you in command of your own SWAT team during tense interventions. You will need to plan your approaches, choose equipment, and coordinate multiple team members as you meticulously blast your way to your objectives. Good Night Night is an unusual, charming 16-bit sneak and slash adventure that's quite mechanically deep. It's a dungeon crawler that features robust stealth, stamina management, a dynamic field of view system, versatile items, resource management, and much more. It's a clever idea having this unique stealth ability to it, and it makes what is otherwise a pretty saturated genre a little bit more unique. Definitely one worth checking out. Badland Game of the Year Edition has redesigned controls, enhanced visuals and more to the campaign. This is an action adventure that excels with its gameplay and atmosphere. There is fun to be had here in multiplayer where up to four of you can take part. If you like side-scrolling action adventure games, then this is certainly going to be for you. There are 100 levels to play in local cop, and there are also 23 battle levels. This is a fantastic game rated highly by many outlets and we agree that it's a fun blast either alone or with friends as well. Epi Story Typing Chronicles immerses you in an atmospheric action adventure game where you play as a girl riding a giant fox who fights an insectile corruption from an origami world. 
As you progress and explore this world, the story literally unfolds and the mysteries of the magic power and the words are revealed. I love the way that they've used text in this game. It's really clever and it's an interesting tale that's worth enjoying. Now, have you ever played the old puzzle games in which you had to find all the differences, you know, spot the difference, etc.? Well, Tiny Lands uses that basic concept of the idea but with a new twist. This is a relaxing puzzle game with some really cool features. If you're looking for a game which allows you to just sit back and play, then Tiny Lands might be for you. You get to rotate the 3D environments to spot the differences, and this is the perfect game to enjoy on a lazy afternoon. Now, if you're a regular viewer, then you'll probably know that I have a soft spot for card games, and Dungeon Top is a really great, fresh, roguelike deck building game with tabletop battles thrown into the mix. You get to choose your hero, pick an allegiance, and then dive deep into procedurally generated dungeons as you battle beasts and evolve your deck of cards to survive. Up next, it's a game that I really like, it's Mana Spark. This is a challenging action RPG with skill-based tough combat and roguelike elements where you explore a dreadful dungeon and fight smart enemies that will plan and collaborate between themselves to defeat you. What's nice is that each room is handcrafted, striking a balance between randomness and strong design. The combat is skill-based and you will need to learn enemies' patterns in order to succeed. There's a good combination of permanent and in-run upgrades as well, and altogether, it's a really fun dungeon runner. Dex is a side-scrolling RPG with bags of character and lots of nice mechanics from narrative choices that are well-voiced to a deep levelling system. This one has a mature cyberpunk neo-noir story that is dark and gripping with an open world and the freedom to customise your character to suit your playstyle, whether that is lurking in the shadows, diving in guns blazing or being a hacker for example. It's a big ambitious project that's well worth checking out. I've been really impressed with Warlocks 2, it's a real step up over the first title and of course it's a welcome addition to the Switch, especially on this massive sale. It's a quality indie title that combines RPG traits with 2D platforming and brawler fighting. What I love is that each of the classes plays very differently, giving you that replayability. Throw into the mix the ability to play the whole campaign in cart mode, the result is an enjoyable game with randomly generated side quests and even some good humour thrown in as well. Blazing Beaks is a great little game to play with your mates. Levels are randomly generated and you can play story mode with a friend cooperatively or alone as well. Either way, it's a blast. If you want to compete with friends, then there is a tournament mode too to test your skills against each other. For us, we loved how simple it was to pick up and play and get into. Blasting foes is super fun and this is a really strong pickup. The Bit Trip series revolves around the blocky Commander video in the first six titles from that series. These were originally released on the Wii and are a whole lot of fun. Each of the games is quirky and the general thread pulling them together is platforming and rhythm based gameplay. You might recall these six games were released together as a complete compilation on the Wii, but instead here we have the choice to pick up each of the titles and my favourite of the bunch is Bit Trip Runner which combines both platforming and rhythm gameplay perfectly in an explosive and fast paced platformer. One Strike is the simplest game that you will ever play. One Strike leads to success or failure. It's addictive and simple with just two buttons, attack or defend. It is the essence of fighting distilled to its purest form and we really enjoyed its simplicity and also its style as well. Like One Strike, Akane has the simplest gameplay but manages to be highly addictive and fun to play. This is a real little gem. You control Akane, a badass katana wielding heroine that is making a last stand against the accuser in an arena where one hit is death either for you or for your foes. The beauty of the game is the superb controls and the dynamic of slicing and shooting. Combat becomes almost rhythmic as you hack your way through the hordes. There are a few things to unlock and leaderboards to keep you going as well. I love the cyberpunk style from the neon lights to the enemy designs, it's very cool. And there you have it folks, 18 games that have massive sales on right now from Cubic. Congratulations to them on their 18th anniversary. As I said at the beginning of this video, there is an opportunity to win a golden ticket and you'll get loads of games that are released between now and next year if you manage to win. So good luck to all of our viewers. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care.